Hello my friends and welcome to my next business venture. It's a joint venture. My sister Lauren, she's been on the channel before. She is moving into this house. We purchased the house. We're remodeling the house. Obviously we've done some moving into the house a little bit. Share with the people why you are excited to live here. It's got great space. I can stay here until all my kids move out. So what's wrong with the place you live now? It's about this big. Um, I work from home. When my kids are home from school, they're like, hey mom, hey, what's going on? What's, what's your snack? I'm hungry. I, I may have seen that today. Oh, oh, and I have my own bathroom. Oh my gosh. I've had to share a bathroom with my daughter for the last year and it's been different. <laughs> And it has a dishwasher. You haven't, oh had, you haven't had a dishwasher in no. a year. It's been these babies. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks out from move-in date, so let's let's rewind to the tour when we first got the keys. So go check that out right now. Uh, obviously, as you come in, this is the living room. If I got my measurements right, this place is like 2,500 square feet or so, and it is a five-bedroom. Okay, it will be a five-bedroom, three bath. It's not a five-bedroom yet. Okay. So coming this way, we have uh, just linen closet, garage access right here. Um, that's the basement, we'll go there in a second. The kitchen. First thing we're gonna do is get some new hardware and replace these and these gold hinges like holy 1985, but it wasn't built in 85, which is weird. Like, why would you choose this if it was built in the, in the 2000s? That's the question. I don't know the answer. But we have all the nice things. Huge, huge deep sink. There's a garbage disposal. There's a dishwasher. Pretty new refrigerator. Love it. Pretty good pantry. A walk-in pantry, if you will. Three bedrooms and two bathrooms in this upstairs main area. So there's one small bedroom right here. So this is going to be the home office. Bedroom number two, this is going to be a child room. So standard bedroom, closet over here, all good and dandy. Laundry room. We have, let's call it the guest bath. Oh no, <sighs> more. <laughs> all right, let's start with the kitchen and then we'll go from there. Here's the master. The walls are purple. It has a full bathroom over here. There's a full walk-in closet over here. In fact, the closet's huge. Like, come on, right? You could put a whole dresser right here. Or here. Or here. Anywhere. Quick pause in all of the DIY and home projects and tour to thank today's sponsor, Helix Mattress. When you're moving, moving into a new place, it's the perfect time to upgrade. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and delivered directly to your door. Everyone is different and Helix knows it, so they made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Dave and I are so well <laughs> matched that I'm like a back side sleeper that prefers a soft mattress and he's a back sleeper that prefers a firm mattress. So the marriage just makes sense. Based on our quiz, this time we actually matched with a different mattress as I redid the quiz, but we ended up purchasing the Moonlight Lux, which is a softer, more on the softer side. And it is so nice. We have had it for a, almost a year now. We have never slept better. Based on our new quiz results, Dave might want to <laughs> upgrade to this like cooling technology because he's always hot and I'm always cold, but he just says I can put on an electric blanket and his side won't have any. That's what marriage is. It's about compromise. I get what I want and he's okay with it. <laughs> They deliver it right to your door with free shipping in the United States. It comes rolled up in a box and really easy to set up by yourself. It can make you nervous to buy something online like this, but do not fear because Helix has a 100 night sleep trial. So you have more than three months to decide if you wanna keep it or not. You don't wanna keep it, they'll pick it up for you and give you a full refund. Also, Helix mattresses have a 10 year warranty and offer financing options and flexible payment plans. So a great night's sleep is never far away and they have something for every budget. You want more budget friendly, they've got you. You want to really, really invest and go with the Lux line, they got you too. They have something for everyone. I love my Helix and I think you would too. My brother has one, my daughter has one. I'm convincing Lauren to get one now that she's moving into this place. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. They will give you a deal today. Go to helixsleep.com slash frugalfitmom to get up to $200 off your Helix mattress and 
two free pillows. And my friends, you're gonna want those pillows. They're pretty fantastic. First link down in the doobly-doo below if you wanna go check out that deal. Thank you to Helix and let's go back to fixing up Lauren's new place. Coming on down to the basement, this is the area where we're going to have to make some changes. So I do have a contractor coming in. The first thing is this amazing echoey living room. Look how huge this is, oh my gosh. This is a huge room. <laughs> oh, and look, there's mirrors. Oh, okay. But plenty of room for a big sectional. Yeah, big sectional, big TV. Study, like study desks for kids, whatever. Yeah, whatever, oh, I'm seeing stars. We'll call the basement amateur hour. We have, I don't know why there's this weird patch here and quarter around here and here, but not here. It, this is not attached. It's not even attached. Look at that, that is not attached. They didn't try and caulk anything. Like, this is not a well done job. No. This is a bedroom. However, um, we have an issue right here. And this is the mechanical room, which cannot vent into a bedroom. That is not up to code. It's really dangerous, actually. So this is where the contractor is coming in handy. This is what we are doing. We are closing up this entire wall. This will be a wall, a studded out drywall wall. And the new entrance to the mechanical room is going to be in a hallway right here where it is allowed to be. I don't know why they didn't do that in the first place, but we're gonna fix it so that can be a legal bedroom that is safe. Another thing that we're going to try and fix this way, this bedroom that needs new lights, obviously, has a bathroom right here. The only access to the bathroom in the basement is through this bedroom. We are going to attempt to uh, move the doorway and the doorway to the bedroom and kind of make this a hallway and have the bathroom open into the hallway. So all parties in the basement can access the bathroom. So it will be a two bedroom bathroom access from the main living area instead of coming in a bedroom to access the bathroom. So a new doorway here yeah, new doorway and a new doorway here, here. And there, and then we'll close up the existing doorway over there. Don't worry, we're hiring a contractor for this stuff. <laughs> Fast forward a few weeks and we have holes in the walls. Woohoo! The contractors are framing out for the new closet right here. They've ripped out the wood floor, total construction zone, sawdust everywhere. There is our new entrance into the bathroom in the hallway or what soon will be the hallway. And then, so there's Lauren popping in where the new door is going to be and then the old door to the right. So today I am filling in all of the large large holes so I'll see if we can see it like really really big holes these are not just nail holes basically there were holes everywhere so we're trying to prep these upstairs rooms for painting right now we do have a coat in the laundry room agreeable gray it's just so darn agreeable we're just doing small things right now until the big bulk of the work is done I do need to go order some different light bulbs for downstairs this bedroom that was not a bedroom had the worst texture on the walls. It was originally flat, but it was done very poorly. My contractor called me one day and he was like, hey, we're texturing this new wall we put in. You want me to fix the texture in the rest of the room? And I was like, heck yes. Okay, we are picking paint colors at the new place. It's not gonna go across on camera, but this room is very lavender. This is Gravity by Lowe's. This is a Valspar paint, which looks like exactly the same. You can kind of tell a little bit difference. A little, but not really. These other two are Sherwin-Williams. This one is called Stone Eagle, and this one is called Passive. I'm gonna flip you over to this wall, just for a different light. I mean, this room is like baby blue. So here's the three colors on this wall. They're still kind of drawing over here as well. They look so different in this room. What, <laughs> what are you thinking? It depends on the room I'm in because yeah, the kitchen is totally different feel than this room. I so agree. It's hard to say. Old entry, all closed off. Closet door. All the walls are sanded. And then the new door going in. Oh, I should probably get a doorknob. Into the mechanical room is here. So here's my door. We can walk in. Here's what I really want to do. I'm trying to decide how badly I want to do this. I really want to take that out and just have it be a bigger doorway. Mm -hmm. It's gonna ruin the floor. Can I just like rip up this hallway floor and match it to the floor I put here? So here is now the bathroom entrance, which just makes so much more sense. And there's the old 
the old door. Second bedroom, this is the new closet. Old door, so they still have to mud and tape all of like all of that. Something that we are not doing right now, but later is a project in the kitchen. I'll sit you down and we'll talk about it. Loring wanted to paint these cabinets and replace the countertop. I don't want to, but she said she'd do all the work. So here we are. We are picking backsplash tile right now. I saw on Flip or Flop, they had a gray backsplash tile on a white on white kitchen. So I have some, we're gonna look at them. So I have a bunch of different kinds of tile. There's an option. This one is on clearance. It is a gray marble. 80% off regular price. So I would have to buy the remaining <laughs> tiles to do this one. I'm obsessed with this one because it looks like soapstone, which I love. Swirly gray. This one, which has more brown in it, but still gray. And this one, which I think was cheaper and just more even so here are the options it's hard to tell when the cabinets aren't white and these aren't the right counters but it does give you some idea of what we're doing um, other things we did i did just buy a new stove right here so that's super exciting this was a scratch and dent stove at lowe's because of that i think but it was 50 percent off we're taking these off <laughs> and i have these matte black replacements and hinges to put on the cabinets. It's been a chore to get to this stage. Yes. Like move-in date is literally like two and a half weeks mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. Even though some of some of your stuff has made it in yes. already. How do you feel about the whole process? Right this second. Right this second. Good. Okay. And it's because some of the projects on my list have been marked off. Mm -hmm. And kind of a big event for me is behind me now. So I can focus on this and not be like, what? Your bodybuilding show. Yes. 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 Was not, last not even a week ago. <laughs> it was like four days ago. How did you feel a week ago? I was, <laughs> were you, were you I was getting... actively avoiding coming here. Because when you came, were you like, it's too much? It's too much. And then like Christine and her wonderful family would come over <laughs> and would help. And then there's like all these people and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta leave. <laughs> so when you see my family, you're like, I need to leave. <laughs> is, that, is that what it is? No, yes. it was just too much. It was too much. For me, the thing that I was kind of expecting but still surprised by was how long the contractors took to do their work. Mm -hmm. Cause, so I felt like there was very little that we could do downstairs as we waited for them to do their stuff. He originally quoted me two weeks. Mm -hmm. He was like, we'll get it done in two weeks. At this moment right now, it's been six weeks and it is not done. I will say his quality of work is spectacular. I was just frustrated because I wanted to come in and paint. And so I was waiting for them to texture the drywall of, of the hatching and like new walls that they had built. And it, they didn't come for two weeks. And I was, and I was just waiting and waiting and time is ticking by and she needs to move in. So that was, I guess, not surprising because I've seen that happen with a lot of my friends that have tried to do construction projects also. And I am kind of a small job compared to yeah some other stuff. I'm super happy with their work. I'm very happy that we're wrapping it up. And like, mm -hmm. I was able to get in and paint and uh, there's only a few more things left to do. Build out the shelves in the closet. And then once we're laying floor this week, downstairs, and then he'll come back in and put up all the trim. And then his job is done. Yeah. And you're a lot more or orange. It's than orange, than yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you an updated tour. <laughs> Obviously, you can see our construction mess here. Dave is working on pulling up this floor because we widened this hallway right, right here. The kitchen include, uh, we painted this light fixture black and switched out all the hardware in the kitchen. It was that old gold stuff. And I ordered a new dishwasher. It's been two months. No sign that it will come in ever. This bedroom is completely painted. Rogue is here hanging out <laughs> with us. So this room is done. We are in the process of switching out this hardware also. Hey, that's a nice clean line right there. Almost like I knew what I was doing. Almost. And I am in here painting this wall. This is the room where we had a ton of construction done. The sun's going down, so my lighting is not great, but I am painting the kitchen from this like lavender color. I'm painting it this pale oak 
color. I totally stole it from um, our crazy life, my crazy life. They painted their house this color and I loved it so much I wanted to try it. It's a really like creamy whitish stone color. It looks really, really white right here, but when you hold it up next to white, it's not white. The trim is not white. There's the old lavender. I am gonna try and use my brush and like edge in the ceiling and around these, kind of work these paint in all these corners right now and see how far I can go. New color, old color, new color, old color. I think once I get all of the trim and those doors painted white, this color is gonna pop a whole lot better. And what's funny about the trim here is what whoever owned this before was painting the trim, this almond color from white, it was white. And then they gave up like halfway down the hallway into the bedrooms because the trim is like half white, half almond. So I'm not really sure what they were doing, but it did used to be white. I guess they were trying to go for some kind of beachy theme or something, I don't know. So obviously this pale oak color is not showing up as grayish as I want it to because it's not against a bright white trim yet. Now I have purchased the paint. We just haven't been able to go over there and finish. Props to my mom for coming in and edging in all of those edges. During the move-in process, we realized that the microwave that was here, uh, the start button did not work. So we had to go buy a new microwave, which was challenging. If you've tried to buy new appliances lately, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I could not believe we were able to find this one in stock at Lowe's. Went to Lowe's, got this GE microwave. Dave put that in for me, and then I got Ryan on duty to take off all these plate covers so we could move our new pale oak color into the kitchen. Haley was switching out hinges for black hinges that I found on Amazon. Putting in this floor in the basement was such a labor of love. Dave, Andrew, Tyler, and then one of Lauren's sons helped put this together over the course of several days. You can see the new paint colors in this room. We have agreeable gray on most of the walls, except for the red accent wall that this son requested. He really wanted a red accent wall. This closet has been painted white. It was like a lime green that kind of hurt your eyes. So Haley and Andrew rocked out this closet with like three coats of white paint. As you can see, Dave and Andrew are finishing up caulking up the trim that we put back after the floors were put in. Here's the, like the closet within a closet. This wall color was also kind of a yellowy, so we painted this one white as well and left the cedar lining on the bottom just because I thought it was interesting. Coming out of that closet, you can see the wall where the door used to be into the mechanical room that is now actually a wall. So coming in out of this bedroom, these bedrooms down here are absolutely enormous. Here's our brand new hallway with the widened door right there. We just passed the mechanical room door. Here's the bathroom door and the new door entry into the other bedroom, which is also agreeable gray with a slate tile is the color blue accent wall. There's the new closet painted white. I'm just so happy with how this basement turned out. All the rooms are so big and so more modern looking with this new paint and new layout. I can't believe what a difference it made to move a couple of doorways, add a closet. It should have been this way from the beginning. So we are just thrilled with all of the work that everyone has put into this between the contractor and family members and the finished product. Such a huge difference with the flow of this basement. And now the bathroom is accessible to everyone, both bedrooms and the living area down here. It was a lot of work, took a ton of time by the contractor. Mm -hmm.